Duotone filters now available in Adobe Spark Post. I'll show you where and how to use it, so stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools, and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm going to share with you a new feature now available in Adobe Spark Post and that is Duotone filters. If you've ever seen any of these types of photos, the ones you see on Spotify playlists, well, you can now create those in Adobe Spark. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start with the web version of Adobe Spark Post. You can do this on an Android device as well as on an iOS, and I'll show you later where you can find that. Let's start off here with a custom size graphic. And since we were talking about a Spotify playlist cover, maybe on iTunes or something, maybe you have a podcast, you wanna create a cover, or even just in general, anything, Let's go ahead and go with social posts. I'm going to go with the square Instagram format. You can resize it later if you want. Let's click on next and then upload the image that we're going to be using for this duo tone effect. So let's go to photos and upload. And I took some a while back. I'm going to click on the X here to close that left hand menu. So we're only seeing one. And over here on the right hand side, I'm going to choose add to background. So here we go, I have the image there selected. And then right here where it says filters, boom, right off the bat, your duo tone is that new one that just been added. Now, if you recall, there have always been these filters here available, your contrast ones, you know, all the normal ones, but now we have the duo tone and that one's awesome. I just, right off the bat, it looks great. Now, there are several presets here that you can choose from. So let's kind of scroll through here and just see, just kind of play with the looks here. This one looks kind of cool. And if you want to do like the negative, so what you'll do here is swap the colors or do kind of like a shuffle and you kind of have that negative effect. And you can change kind of the contrast of this. So if I were to go, let's close that up. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's scroll down a little bit more here to enhancements. And if you want, you can bring up the brightness. So see what it does to the negative. Now I just have the fist showing. So you can play with the enhancements as well. It will affect the way the duo tone will look like. You want to adjust the shadow. So you can do that with enhancement. So let's scroll back up here and let's go ahead and swap the color. So now we're going back to its original. So really cool way to create this duo tone look. Really neat. Let's go ahead and check this one out. And actually, so many great ones here, but I think the one that kind of really cool and it stands out kind of that right there for your Spotify cover album. So let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and add a text here. Let's, let's get creative here. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. It doesn't matter. I'm going to make all caps. So Claudio's playlist and you may be wondering about my playlist. Maybe I'll share it. So here is Claudio's playlist. I'm going to put this on the lower corner. We're going to choose my font, the one that I always use. I like my brand font here. I'm going to go with that one there. And let's play with the text color. Let's go with a white. And then I can adjust the way the font will look like. So let's go here to the magic option, capitalize it all, and then make adjustments to line spacing. Maybe, maybe that looks pretty cool there. So here we go. We got Claudio's playlist. I'm going to put this on the lower right corner there. Boom. So there we go. So I've got an album cover for my either Spotify playlist or my iTunes playlist or whatever playlist, podcast, you name it. You can be as creative as you want. Now, since I'm using Adobe Spark post here and I have my own brand colors, I can actually adjust this using my brand color. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and close the left-hand menu. So if I click into each of the colors, you can see the kind of sliders. That gives you the option to open up more colors. And then I have my brand colors here. So if I swap this out, so I've got that blue there. Let's see what this green one does. That looks pretty cool there. Uh, let's see what happens if I do white. That kind of has that negative effect. So it just, again, just depends how you want it to look. Let's see what this looks like. That, that looks actually pretty cool. 
Let me see what happens with the yellow here if I go red. I like that. And then I can go ahead and play with, again, the brightness, contrast, brightness, saturation, highlight. There we go. Bam. And then if all else fails, just go back to the preset. Ooh, look, look at that. That looks actually pretty cool. So there you have Duotone filter in Adobe Spark. Now let's go see what it looks like on an Android and on an iOS device. I went ahead and loaded images to both devices to save us some time. So what you'll need to do is tap on the photo to get the sub menu show up for the image. And right there, you can see looks. So on both of them, you'll want to tap on looks and you have the normal one or none, and then you have Duotone right there. So basically you'll do the same process, go through, tap on the Duotone button, and then you can go through and kind of switch through all the different Duotone filters that are presets. And on the phone, you actually have some additional ones actually labeled like bold and then soft looking, just say Duotone filters. So depending on how much of the effect you want on the photo, how much filter you want, you can be as creative as you want to be. And that is the Duotone filter now available in Adobe Spark Post. So go update your apps. The next time you log into the web, it'll be there for you. And if you do post, create some of your own Duotone filter photos, please do tag me. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell to be notified for future videos. And please do share this video with others. Thank you for stopping by. And as always, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.